So can a pair of earbuds that cost less than $100 actually compete with earbuds that cost $250 or $300 or even $400? Well, the new Liberty 4NC just arrived and they claim to do just that. But of course, everybody aims to do that, but these actually have specs that kind of back it up. So when I saw that the spec sheet checked nearly every box on my perfect earbuds list, I had to check them out. These have LDAC, they have incredible battery life, they have multi-point connectivity, and unlike their predecessors, the Liberty 4s, these have powerful active noise cancellation, which should resolve one of the biggest problems with those earbuds, which otherwise were a really popular pair. So these on paper seem really promising, but let's actually test it and get into this, which by the way, this video is not sponsored. These were sent to me for free. They sent me like a couple back there, but I'm covering pros and cons. I promise guys, this is totally unbiased. I just explained why I have extra ones back there. Maybe I'll do a giveaway if you guys want. You know what? Yeah, we'll do a giveaway. I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, but starting off with the features, because that's kind of one of the highlights, in my opinion, of these earbuds. Let's kind of dive through some of them. When you first get the earbuds, of course, you have Google Fast Pair. These work with iPhones as well, but with Androids, it'll pop up right away and be super easy to pair. Then you have a fit test, which is pretty standard on a lot of earbuds, but they come with four different ear tips. We'll talk more about comfort in a minute, but the battery life on these is eight hours in the earbuds and 40 hours with the case, and that's with active noise cancellation on. And the ANC is really pretty impressive in my opinion. Without ANC, you get 10 hours and 50 hours, which is absolutely phenomenal. As far as battery life goes, these are, are really incredible. They're also extremely customizable. So the touch controls, of course, each earbud has single, double, triple tap, and they have tap and hold on the little touch controls. And you can customize all eight of those in the app. So each individual thing, you can choose what it's going to do. So it's going to be perfect for exactly what you want it to be. They also have some other cool safety features in here, like a safe volume limiter. So you don't damage your ears if you're one to just, you know, subconsciously turn the volume up. You have that, or if you're using these for kids, maybe they can have that as well. There's a wind reduction feature for the active noise cancellation. So we'll talk about ANC in a minute, but that is a nice feature to add. Of course, if you are into gaming, there's an extra low latency gaming mode on here. Um, personally, I don't do a lot of gaming with earbuds in, like Bluetooth earbuds. So I, that doesn't really matter to me, but some people that's really important to have if you're doing a lot of mobile gaming. They also have auto play and pause and they have mono mode so you can listen to just one earbud while the other's in the case using Bluetooth 5.3. You might ask why you'd wanna do that. I know a lot of people end up wearing an earbud maybe at work and they wanna hear their surroundings and maybe transparency mode just doesn't cut it for them or they don't like white noise. It's something that people end up doing. They also have soundly compensation on here. Uh, so really an intelligent pair of earbuds. It's kind of self-explanatory what that does. Um, but again, really impressive that they add that. They do have, and I've said this in every earbuds video so far in 2023, they need to have multi-point connectivity this year, and these do have it. So I'm so happy these can connect to two devices at once, my laptop and my phone, which means I can watch a video, I can listen to music, and when I get a phone call, it can automatically switch over and I don't have to like take them out and reconnect, and I don't have to do that. It's just really one of the best features that I, I always want earbuds to have, and these, they do have it. They do a Find My Device, sort of, uh, so you can play a sound on the earbuds, like really loud, high pitch, and that can help you find it, but it doesn't have like a, not like the AirPods have, for example, where you can actually track it down. And these are all, of course, accessible in the app. Um, but the last one is the ability to select auto power off period. So how long it's going to be before these actually turn off in case you just like take them out and set them on a table so they don't just drain the battery. But getting into the design of these, let's start off with the case. So the design of the case, it is a little bit on the larger side. It's not like really that big. I guess it's kind of Plus, medium plus, I'd say. Like it's not the biggest case, but it's not quite like a tiny pocket. It won't fit there. Um, the case has USB type C charging on the bottom. We also do have wireless charging on the back. Now the button probably isn't what you think. Originally, I thought it was going to be a physical latch that like I always hated those. They're, they're clunky and annoying and hard to open. Uh, but this is optional. Like, you don't have to use that button. It is closed magnetically. And when you push the button, I assume what happens is it pushes the magnets away from the front. So there's a large enough gap that they no longer hold it shut and it opens. So you can either push the button to open it or you could just open it by pushing on the top. Now there are five different colors. Soundcore was nice enough to send me all of them. I don't need five pairs of earbuds, but these are the different colors they have. So they have the white ones, of course. I'm, gonna, I'm leaning back so it focuses. Um, we've got the pink ones here. We've got the light blue ones. Uh, and then of course we have a dark blue one, which actually looks really cool. And the ones I've been using for this video are obviously the black ones. In hindsight, I kind of wish I opened up the dark blue ones. I think those probably look the best in my opinion, 
but it's nice to see five different colors on a pair of earbuds like this. So as far as the giveaway goes, I kind of rarely do giveaways because there's always scammers in the comments down below trying to pretend to be me and, and they're trying to take your, your personal information. So definitely be careful down there. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, instead, let's go, I have five of these. I, only, I don't need five, so I'll give four of them away. And how about we do this? How about we go on Twitter? I'll, I'll link to a tweet below, and then all you have to do is go over to Twitter and uh, comment on that tweet. And whoever has the fewest likes on their comment is going to be a winner. Whoever has the fewest likes will end up winning these. I have four of them, so four winners, uh, and I'll let you know over on Twitter. Otherwise, looking at the actual earbuds themselves, when you open it up, they are sitting in there magnetically, really easy to put them in and take them out. Uh, at first, like the first time you use them, you might not, like you might be tempted to put them in backwards, but it's pretty obvious when you put them in wrong, like it won't, it won't close at all, which is nice because some of those like smaller earbuds that uh, don't have a stem and you put them in the case, sometimes you could put them in the wrong way and then they end up not charging. So with this, it's pretty much impossible to close the case when they're not in correctly. I think kind of like a Pokeyoke design where it only fits one way. Uh, the earbuds themselves are a little bit like the classic stem design. Of course, we've seen this before. As far as comfort and security goes in my ears, the comfort is absolutely incredible. Sorry, I can't talk with those in. Active noise cancellation is actually really good. I can't hear myself talk. Uh, but the, the comfort of these, it's really impressive. I can sit here and work for hours and I never get tired of wearing them. But now, even though these don't have any type of wingtip, the geometry on the back does seem to grab uh, the outer portion of my ear really well. So not only is it comfortable while I'm wearing, while I'm wearing them because they are so light, but they're very secure as well. So I can run with these. I've done a, quite a few different workouts. The only thing where they started to fall out was when I was doing some sit-ups, uh, which your head's obviously changing orientation a lot there. So it kind of makes sense that that is something that, that like that's a workout where these would maybe fall out. The water resistance, speaking of workouts, is IPX4 more than passable for workouts, but you're gonna not want to drop these in a puddle, of course. But other than that, the earbuds have six microphones. Pretty common for earbuds to have six microphones, but let's actually get into a microphone test. All right, so the microphone test. These are the Liberty 4 NC earbuds. Obviously, I'm still in my studio, so there's basically no echo here, but if I was on a phone call with you, like in a you know a nice building that's carpeted, it would probably sound something like this, but of course, everybody is not always going to be inside. Let's go outside and see how they sound out there. But like I said, leave a comment and let me know how this sounds. All right, so this is an outdoor microphone test with a lot of traffic behind me. Let me know if you can hear what I'm saying. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna go back into the studio. Now, as far as the active noise cancellation goes, they call this adaptive ANC 2.0, whatever marketing terms, you can have either adaptive ANC or you can choose this like the specific level one through five, uh, which I was very happy with. And they claim to block 98.5% of sound. Again, it's a little bit of a marketing thing there uh, because ears work more like a log scale. Like the first 1% is way less significant than the last 1%. So really what I'm trying to say is don't pay too much attention to those numbers. But based on my experience, they actually did a really good job. They blocked a lot of volume considering, especially considering the price, of course, but I'll show you on screen. Like I always run this test where I play a white noise at a, a set distance away and I measure the decibels where I am and see at what level I can no longer block out that sound. So you can see right here how well these actually performed. A higher number is better on this. Overall, I was very impressed by the ANC on these earbuds. Okay, so there are two different modes of transparency. Uh, one's called fully transparent and one's called vocal mode. After trying both, I'm not actually sure I see what the difference is between them. Maybe I'm just not in the right environment to hear what the difference would be, but at least where I am, uh, it doesn't make a huge difference. It, either one of them, like, they're not fully transparent. They're like, it sounds about 50% transparent. Like, I can hear myself and things around me, but it doesn't really sound nearly as clear as I was hoping it would. So that's a little bit of a weakness with these, the transparency mode. But getting into the sound quality, uh, this is one where spec sheets are very impressive, but actual experience uh, may vary depending on what kind of music you like. So the codex on here, it does have LDAC, which is among the best codex out there, which means you're getting really good uh, audio resolution or, or you can get really high bit rate on here. Uh, it does have an 11 millimeter driver as well. And there are a lot of different sound settings, including 3D surround sound. There's Hear ID, which is like your custom EQ based on a little test you take. There's an actual custom EQ that you can manually adjust and there are tons and tons of presets. Now, when you first set these up, they won't have LDAC right away. You have to go into the app and enable that. It takes maybe 10 or 15 seconds to switch, 
And so I obviously did that pretty much right away. Now the sound on these uh, is very warm and bassy, like there's a very, very big bass, uh, initially at least, and you can adjust that all in the EQ, but the bass can be like very big, very, very deep, but generally more boomy and not really that tight or punchy. I'm personally not the biggest fan of the default EQ on here, which is uh, Soundcore Signature EQ, because it kind of sounds like way too bassy, very muddy, and the vocals are really drowned out. Uh, and the bass is also a little bit mushy, like I said, not super tight, not super punchy, uh, but the highs seem to also lack a little bit of detail and lack some instrument separation as well. And I won't talk too much about like the EQ because obviously you can change it so much. I'll, I'll really try to focus more on the EQ options and, and the limits overall, uh, the general struggle to find a good EQ at this, but okay, so I, I tried the default one, wasn't a big fan of that. I tried the intelligent test where they play a bunch of different beeps and uh, the result was a little bit better, actually a lot better, but still not a great EQ, like still, lacking instrument detail, still a little bit too warm. Uh, overall, I wasn't really impressed by the sound quality. There are a ton of different presets and, and kind of going through those was nice, but again, it kind of was like on a song by song basis. I didn't really find any that did a, a good job for everything. So definitely not the most natural or the mar most articulate, but overall, these would be decent for workouts when I'm okay with like big overpowering bass. They're not my favorite sounding earbuds, but if you love the features and the specs and you're really not a big uh, sound person, then you could definitely get used to this sound and, and really thoroughly enjoy these earbuds. But kind of, but breaking these down into like the pros and cons. The pros, the active noise cancellation was really fantastic. I was very impressed with that. The feature list was really everything I wanted. They didn't really nailed it. They have multi-point connectivity, which is a huge one. And you have a great app that allows you to customize a lot about not just the EQ on here, but also the controls and everything else. But the drawbacks with this, if you're somebody that really likes transparency mode, it's not the best on here, but of course you do have mono mode, so you could just listen to one earbud and that works perfectly. Really the biggest drawback, uh, there's two. So one, the sound quality, like I said, was nothing special. Uh, and the number two was the physical button on the case. Some people might like that, but for me personally, that's a drawback. Overall, I'm sure anyone who buys these would definitely be quite happy with them. So if you want the best earbuds at the best price, but you don't really care that much about sound, you're not like an audiophile, you don't hear the differences between good and bad earbuds, then these are the perfect earbuds for you. But if you care a lot about sound, I'd recommend checking out Sennheiser's budget earbuds. They're about the same price and they kind of do the opposite. They don't really nail the fundamentals with features, but they absolutely nail it on sound. So I guess the answer to my question, at least for now, is probably no. Like these earbuds under $100 aren't exactly going toe to toe with $300 or $400 pair of earbuds. You still need to make a compromise to make the price lower. And for these, that compromise more or less was the sound. But since you watched this long and enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out the next one right here. And if you haven't already, please do click that subscribe button.